Welcome back to Front Stage TV. I'm Tom Butler, sitting down with Earwig in the big room. Tell me, Lizard, how did Earwig come together? Many years ago, I had an ambition to be a person for people to look up to musically, and I started a music group with that intention to play music, and I, <laughs> there, people came to play with me, and eventually they stopped, so I had George and Matt play. Now we have music for, to do this. That, and this was a while ago, and now we play music. You want another Red Bull? <laughs> <laughs> That's, and I run a record label, and I release music, our music. Only me ever does that. And that's only us, three. Earwig. I play the bass. I'm not sure exactly how you're going to answer this. Lizard McGee, how did the name Earwig come up for your band? This is an interesting story because we wanted to come up with a band name, and I had heard a story of one of my favorite bands, R.E.M., how they came up with their name. And as the story goes, you take a dictionary, which you would use as an oracle, and, old, and you opened it, and you stick your finger in blindly to a page and pick a word, like rowboat. You can't spell oracle without oral. <laughs> or box turtle. But when we opened the dictionary, it had been in the basement. And I think we picked rowboat, but it was full of earwigs. So we decided that would be the name for the band. And it was good. This was all back before George and I were born. Yes. <laughs> they are new people in the band. So a dictionary. I'm not that new. George is new. George will answer the next question. So do you even have a songwriting process? No idea. <laughs> Fascinating. Well, the songs are written. Oh, he says when he's sleeping, he's thinking of things. And I can't repeat that. It's things that are emotionally important to him. This is so embarrassing. And, and he writes songs about it. And even though the songs are mostly negative, I'm truly a douchebag. That's not what I said. <laughs> well, then you say it. Um, how are the songs written on acoustic guitar? Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> In my bedroom. On my bed. <laughs> I, I write it, like I'll have a lyric and I write it down and I... I'm trying to put it in code so no one can steal my lyrics. And then I go back a month later and I can't read it because it's scribbly. And I think it says something really interesting like chimpanzee in a, driving a hearse. But I, that's not what I meant to write down. And then the lyrics come from <clears throat> mixed up mash. Paranoid schizophrenia. I'm not even sure that was an answer, but I'm going to ask another question. Lizard, what are your influences? I'm afraid of the answer to this question. I'm going to be serious. Oh, it's retarded if you're serious. <laughs> well, from a young age, I saw Purple Rain, and I was I was scared because, and you can't say this on TV, but the, you know, like play the song, you. F and it terrified me because it was the first movie I got to go see by myself. It happened. When Apollonia comes to see him, putting it in her face, just made it up. And she cries and she runs out. But I'm, a, I'm not. Mine was Fievel Goes West. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's time for you to plug your website. Where are we going to find you guys on the web? There's a MySpace page. Oh, there's a Facebook page, too. Tell them that. Yeah, look for that. I run the Facebook page. Lizard runs the MySpace, because MySpace is dead. So we're, go we're on actually, Facebook. We have a Facebook. Oh, and we have a website. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have a MySpace. Thank you. What's a? A website? Website. Yes. yes. With your fingers. Website. George, what's our website? Let's see if he knows. Lizard Family? Yes. Could you spell that out? L-I-Z... 
A R D F A M I L Y dot com. We have a website, lizardfamily.com, which we'll be updating soon due to the impending release of our new album called Whoa. Gibson Under Mountain. It'll be out this fall on LFM Records. What's coming up for Earwig Lizard? Any upcoming plans? World domination? Yeah, check this out. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> That's my answer to your query. <laughs> You're a jerk! <laughs> you know, we're going to play some shows. Matt's going to be there. George is going to be there. We'll set up in sort of a triangle configuration by nature. And maybe there'll be some new songs and some old songs. But the main thing is, is we have an album coming out that we spent a lot of time recording. But it's not done yet. No. It's going to be done soon. And you can find it on the internet probably for free, but please buy it. Because the new business model is an important part of the music industry. Internet. I know I'm going to regret this one, but do you guys have any last words for Columbus? George looks good in the goatee. He's a cool, he's a good drummer and he makes the band better. And so does Matt. And I just screw stuff up. I play the bass. You know, we're interested in, in um, what, like, I don't know what do bands do that's not stupid. Like, we want to be the best band in the world. He rescues animals. I do. I have nine cats and four dogs and two chickens. Thanks for having us play, and we're Earwig, and we're happy to let you know that we have a new album coming out, and it's really something good that we did that's better than anything we've ever done, and we're happy about it, and we like to play. My <laughs> mother has a beautiful name. Her name is Mariva, which her parents made up. Yeah. Mariva <laughs> She's a beautiful woman. I'm not going to say she's sexy, but that doesn't mean she's not. <laughs> my mom doesn't have a maiden name. She was born married to my stepdad. What about your mom, George? It's Manura. Mano dot? M Manura. Oh, it's Greek. <laughs> George, Matt, and Lizard coming at you on 17 Live on CD 101. <laughs> hey! In, In your face! Th thanks, guys. Uh, we'll hear another one from you guys at the end of the show. Don't go anywhere. Front Stage TV, The Vague, is up next. Mm -hmm.